Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video for Digger 5 Part 8. This video will cover saving, exporting, and printing files in Digger 5. To begin this demonstration, we are going to open one of the sample files by clicking File, Open. In the Open dialog, navigate to the Digger Samples directory, select Australia.pjt, and click Open. You can save the file for future use and modification. If you want to save any changes to the file with the same name, format, and location, click File, Save. However, to change the file name or location, click File, Save As. In the Save As dialog, you can specify the file location by navigating to the desired destination. You can specify the name for the file by typing the name in the File Name field. The only option for the Save As type is the Digger Project file, or PJT. A project file saved in Digger 5 can only be opened in that version of Digger. Click Cancel to close the Save As dialog without saving the sample file. You can also export a file so that it can be used in another application. To export a file, click File, Export. Digger supports a variety of export format types. The full list is available by clicking on the down arrow next to Save As Type. Digger can export files in both raster and vector formats. Some of the raster exports include JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and raster PDF. Some of the vector exports include AutoCAD DXF, Esri Shapefile, and Vector PDF. You can also export the data that is included in the Data Manager to a data file or worksheet. Export to an ASC2 data file with the Golden Software data file format with the DAT extension, or a text data file with the TXT extension. You can also export to a Microsoft Excel worksheet with the XLS or the XLSX file extension. One of the new features in Digger 5 is the ability to export to a Google Earth KML or KMZ file format. I'm going to export this file using KMZ file format. Set the Save As type to KMZ Google Earth with the KMZ file extension. In the File Name field, enter the file name Australia. If the Show Options dialog option is selected, an Export Options dialog will allow you to specify the options for the KMZ export. Verify that the box next to Show Options dialog is selected and click Save. In the Export Options dialog, the KML KMZ options include options to export text objects, marker objects, area, and curve objects. You can also specify the line width as a fixed width or scaled relative to the KML pixel size. I will leave these to their default settings. In the Spatial References tab, you can choose the type of spatial reference information that will be exported along with the KMZ file. Check the box next to one or more of the supported reference formats that you would like to export. Once you have selected the appropriate spatial reference information to export, click OK to export the KMZ file. You can also export the data in your Digger project that is displayed in the Data Manager. This can be exported to an ASC2 text file or a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The exported data sheet will contain the coordinate information and the attribute information for each object included in the project. To export the data to an Excel spreadsheet, click File, Export. In the Export dialog, enter the file name for the exported Excel workbook. Set the Save As type to XLSX Excel 2007 spreadsheet. Click Save to export the data from Digger to an Excel file. Once exported, you can view the file in Excel or import the data into another program. A full list of the supported export file formats in Digger 5 can also be found in the Help. Click Help, Contents to open the Help. In the Contents tab, navigate to the Digger 5 Files book. Click the File Format Chart article to view the full list of the supported import and export file formats. On this page, you can click on each file format to display the full file format description for the file format. I will click the BLN file format to view the description for this file type. The file description page provides an overview of the file structure and the type of information contained in each file format. Click the X in the upper right corner to close the Digger Help dialog. To print from Digger, click File, Print. The printers listed in the Print dialog are the ones installed on the computer. Click the Properties button if you would like to modify the properties for the selected print driver. The print method has four available options, which control how the document is printed on the page. The first method, Current View, prints the document as it appears in the plot window. 
the objects are scaled to fit within the paper and print settings. Scaled Current View prints the current view as shown in the plot window at the scale specified in the Project Limits and Scale dialog, or the size specified during import for an image. The Fit to Page option reduces the size of the plot so that it fits within the specified page size. The Tile option breaks the drawing into page size pieces and generates multiple pages of output. The Print Range section allows you to specify if you would like to print everything in the plot window, or just the selected objects in the Data Manager. In the Copy section, you can choose to print multiple copies of the file. Click OK and the file will be printed. I will click Cancel to close the dialog. This concludes the overview of the Save, Export, and Print commands in Digger 5. You can always get more experience using Digger by walking through the included tutorials. To access the tutorial, click Help, Tutorial. The tutorial includes basic and advanced lessons to help you learn the many features in Digger 5. Technical support has always been a high priority at Golden Software. If you ever have any problems or questions when using Digger, please feel free to contact us. You can go to Help, Feedback, and choose Problem Report to email us a problem report, Suggestions to email us any suggestions you have to improve Digger, or Information Request to request more information about Digger. The contact information for Golden Software can also be found in Digger by going to Help, About Digger, or by visiting goldensoftware.com. This concludes my demonstration of Digger 5. If you have any questions, please contact Golden Software.